What's up y'all? Crosswood Highway Paddle. Today's video, I'm going to take a look at the two kayaks I have behind me. They are the Lifetime Teton 100 Angler and the Lifetime Tamarack Pro. The, uh, both great little kayaks at a cheap price point and uh, very common for those looking to get on the water in a kayak for the first time. So uh, let's check them out. So we're going to be looking at the top side of these kayaks first. The kayak there in the back is the Tamarack Pro. It is 10 foot 3 inches, whereas the Teton here in front is 10 foot even. The, uh, the Teton is 30 and a half inches wide. The Tamarack Pro is 31 inches wide, so you've got a three inch longer, half inch wider kayak in the Tamarack Pro, and consequently you get 25 pounds more capacity. The Teton being 275 pounds, the Tamarack being 300 pounds. Um, both on the low ends of capacity, but if you're looking for a throw and go kayak, just something to get on the water very quickly, both are gonna be great options. Now the before we uh, really dig into them, the only thing I have added on this Teton is that there that is a Yak Attack Mighty Mount, and I added that just for uh, something to hold a rear camera mount. If you watch any of my GoPro videos, the over-the-shoulder shots are shot via a camera on that mount. So looking at the top of these, they are both very, very similar. <coughs> Sorry if I'm running out of breath here, I'm just getting over my second bout of COVID and uh, I can hardly make it through a sentence without losing my voice. It's no fun. So very similar carrying handles on both. The, uh, the uh, carrying handle here on the Teton also has the paddle holder on it. Whereas you look at the paddle holders on the Tamarack and they are very similar. The only difference being you have this channel here that uh, just holds your paddle more flush with the kayak. Uh, it's something very, very minor, but makes a huge, huge difference in terms of comfort on the water. Looking at the bow of the boat, almost identical. These boats are going to paddle very, very similarly, maybe a touch faster in the Tamarack being that it's a slightly longer boat, but only being a three inch difference is probably not going to be very discernible. The Teton here, you'll see the recessed bungee straps here. They're hold, held in to the hull. I can't pop them out right now, but it's almost, it's very similar to a shoestring. They actually go down into the hull. That is not a watertight fit. Once we get over here to the Tamarack, much, much better. Now, my big gripe with the Teton was that you take on a lot of water through those, uh, through those holes for the bungee straps. The Teton here, it's not the, most durable looking hardware in the world, but it's definitely a major upgrade and it's going to be watertight. As we get to the Teton here, you notice no foot pegs. They're uh, molded in foot braces that, I'll be honest, at six foot and uh, all knees and legs. It's not a super, super comfortable cockpit area. Here over on the Tamarack, the uh, adjustable foot pegs. The hardware on them doesn't look like it's the greatest in the world, but you know, for, for a budget kayak, that's where you sacrifice things and, and you save your money. And it for the budget, it doesn't look too, too bad. So a little bit sturdier track. Although, got to be honest, that does not feel held down very well. Um, those screws don't seem very tight. This one actually does feel solid. 
that said, if I'm suspend fishing for catfish or anything like that, I'm not very, very confident in these rod holders. The simple tracks on the Teton, they, they do their job very well. They actually feel, they actually feel more solid than this. But once I get that screwed down, I uh, think that'll be a little bit better. I'm not going to do anything that I'm going to have a ton of pressure on those tracks in these kayaks though. Another big difference in the cockpit, Teton. Uh, a very sharp downward slope from the seat to the foot area. It's much flatter than the Tamarack. You have space for a water bottle in the Teton. Uh, not a whole lot else. Here in the Tamarack, got a little water bottle holder. And I really like this. Little hatch with a drop-in bucket. You can throw some lures in there, throw your phone in there. It, uh, it should be fairly waterproof. There is some water in this lid. Uh, I did wash the kayak down before I uh, before I filmed this video. Again, very cheaply made, but feels like it should be functional. Uh, I just bought this kayak today, second hand. Um, so I can't comment on the longevity of any of these, but I can tell it is much, much better made than the Teton, hence the higher price point. Right now, Lifetime's website <coughs> lists the Teton at $600 shipped and the Tamarack at $800-ish shipped. I think it was $789 or something like that. That said, I got the Teton from Dick's Sporting Goods for, I believe it was $479. The Tamarack, I have seen listed for $500 to $599 most commonly. So shop around and you can get these kayaks at a decent price. I don't have the seat on either of them. They use the same seat. I have spoken very, very highly of Lifetime seat in the past. Uh, it's a metal frame seat, sits right on there. The seating area is very, very similar, same attachment. You have these clips, which I'll be honest, don't feel like they'll hold up very long. But in the six months or so I've had the Teton, they haven't failed me yet. Here on the Tamarack, you have a spot for a tackle tray. Uh, that said, given how low the seat sits, I don't know that that's even usable, but it's a good thought. The uh, seating area on the Teton, you can see by the shape of it, you have those two scupper holes, but there's no real, real tracking in there for the water to drain properly, whereas on the Tamarack, they have rectified that. Water is going to drain very well in this cockpit. Getting to the rear tank well, you have two flush mounted rod holders just in front of it on both of them. And again in the Teton, you have the bungee straps that go directly down into the hull, not waterproof. I, I said it earlier, but you get a lot of water through that. You wouldn't think you would. But this kayak is stored top side up in the rain. It takes on a lot of water. So very small rear tank well, but given that capacity, you're not going to be going out with much gear anyway. A much steeper uh, rear tank well here in the Tamarack Pro. And again, just that better hardware on the... Uh, on the bungee straps so it's very superficial but I like the orange bungees they pair well with Sam Adams Oktoberfest a fantastic choice of beverage for all of your kayaking adventures and uh, so yeah that's the top side of both of these kayaks so some slight differences but 
truth be told i think you get a lot lot more <laughs> in the tamarack pro than you do in the teton and that said i love this little teton i have posted a video before i will shoot a little uh link to that here in the top right corner to so you can check out that video it wasn't a very in-depth review it was mostly a fishing trip but i spoke to the kayak a little bit in that video as well so uh yeah let's flip these kayaks over and check out the check out the holes so in looking at the holes of the kayak it's uh not as easy to tell on the tamarack because of the lighter color but here on the teton you have much deeper channels on the bottom so the boat's going to track pretty well you have a decent little keel at the back of both of them uh, pretty small much more aggressive on the tamarack so it is going to want to track a little bit better than the Teton in that regard. The, uh, but otherwise very, very similar hulls, almost identical. Some very subtle differences. All right. Well, that wraps up my very, very quick look at both of these kayaks. Uh, if you're in the market, I hope this certainly helps you make your decision. Based off of this very quick look at them, I think the Tamarack Pro is definitely well worth the price difference if you can afford it. If not, the Teton is a great little boat. I really, really enjoy taking it out, and I have quite a lot. So much so that I have probably taken it out more this summer than my Hobie Pro Angler. Uh, great, affordable little boats to get you on the water, get you on some fish and get you out there to have a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the review, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll have more for you soon. Take care.